Welcome back to the show. Please make him welcome. He's part of Collingwood's sensational premiership winning side last year and they got off to a cracking start today from the Pies. Dale Thomas, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Great to have you, Dale. There's, there's, there's one thing, though, you want to do first up. What's that? I do. Before Nan goes to bed, Nan, happy 80th birthday today. Hope <laughs> oh, oh, love it. What's Nan's name? Nan? Uh, Nana June. Nana what, June. And what's, yeah, her, what's her bed? Um, after this, what else <laughs> is she a Collingwood supporter? She is now, yeah. yeah. Who'd she used to marry for? Um, Melbourne, I think. Right, okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. that's uh, good that she swapped for you. I appreciate that. There's one thing we want to do first up, though, is yeah. th something that Collingwood Footy Club didn't do today. Yeah, dirty mobile. It's tradition first round, first home game, you unfurl the Premiership flag. Yeah, yeah? okay. Yeah, you well, didn't yeah. do it today. We didn't, no. And it was a team effort, wasn't it, this Premiership? It, it certainly was. A massive team effort. So, all your supporters, <laughs> all the staff, all the players, they deserve that moment. They deserve it this weekend. Yes. We're going to give it to them oh, right now. Yeah. We're going yeah. Yeah. Stand up, stand up. Right, right, here we go. All right, we're going to do this. It's a big this. moment, Vince. Put on your pants. Hold that, hold that. I don't that. feel comfortable with this. No, we're going to do it. We're unfurling <laughs> yeah. the premiership flag. They I'm need to be done. This is for all time with the borders. There we go. For all Outstanding, uh, outstanding. <laughs> now, the reason you haven't unfurled it today, because it was your first home game, but you rotten mongrels want to save it for round three, a Friday night game at the MCG in front of about 90,000 when you play Carlton. That's just low, I reckon. Why would you save I, it up for against the Blue Bags? I don't think it's low. I think oh, it's an opportunity what? for our great supporters, who we now have 60,000 plus of, oh, no. to get down there and uh, get a chance, whereas <laughs> the uh, ground today probably wouldn't have housed the... No, you want to yeah, stick no, it up? No, you want to stick it up? No, Carl, he, wants, let's be he, wants, he wants his supporters to have one highlight, on otherwise what will be a miserable night for Colin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, let's focus on today's game, Daisy. Great win today. Well done. You were very much in control. You played very well yourself. Thank in you. fact, why don't we have a look, uh, for starters, one of the three uh, Thomas goals today. Um, here it comes in here. There's Daisy. Oh, hang on. Oh, no. Oh! oh that was Matt geez. Thomas from Port Adelaide. Oh, <laughs> I read that wrong off the sheet. I thought... Oh, Daisy, sorry. It's unprofessional, Lee. Oh, that, that is my bad. I just... That was right between the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> is that a new thing to try and mark the ball with your face? Uh, I'm watching too much soccer. <laughs> yeah, pretty right. slick performance, though. I mean, multiple goals, five, six, seven, six, I think, something like that in the f across the four quarters. Um, and Port would look pretty competitive. They got to within 17, I think, during that third quarter, but pretty good performance by you, fellas. Yeah, yes and no. I think uh, the first half was a, a pretty solid performance. In that third quarter there, we really went to sleep. And to Port's credit, they came back and really took it up to us. But, uh, yeah, the boys got going again and uh, were able to kick away in the end there. Hey, uh, it's been exciting times down at Collingwood. There's obviously the hoo-ha about winning the last premiership and it all looks good for the future. But I thought one of the great appointments uh, over the off-season was Mick Malthouse for King of Moomba. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did the club enjoy that? Was that a popular move down yeah, at the club? Yeah, it certainly was. He told us all about it. Yeah. <laughs> you, I saw the parade and it was quite moving, although I th would have thought it would have been better if halfway up Swanston Street he was forced to abdicate and Nathan Buckley took over. <laughs> What's your thoughts on that? <laughs> yeah, that, no, that would have been maybe next year. Like maybe next year. Have a look. Here he is. You can tell him. He gets very excited even for Mick Malthouse at the appointment. It clearly meant a lot to him. One of the things that instantly caught my attention was the fact that Moomba has always been part of uh, of me as a young boy growing up in Ballarat. Moomba was always there, um, at a distance, of course. <laughs> Very good indeed. And he obviously ran with it. And uh, once he was he was made King of Moomba, he, he certainly let everyone know. He never took it off, to tell you the truth, uh, the crown. <laughs> <laughs> Stunning pictures. Stunning pictures. Who's the, um, the, who's, the, who's the Mick Malthouse that you know, Dale? He's, he's got a... He's a, the one that coaches Collins. No, no, no. no, 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 no the question no, is... We, 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 hear that, we hear that the Mick Malthouse that you guys see internally is very different from the Mick Malthouse that we see publicly. Yeah, I think uh, Mick's been, obviously for me, a fantastic mentor in the way he's taught me a lot about my football, but he's also a, a great leader of men. Um, 
obviously it's not the easiest thing to coach a, a group of uh, blokes. So for him, he manages that very well. Um, and on top of that, he's a, a fantastic and loyal family man, loves his kids, and now he's got a couple of grandkids running around, and uh, yeah, he's been over the moon with that. Mick, I think, brushed over the Premiership, quite frankly, calling it a hoo-ha. <laughs> Just a Premiership Richmond supporter. Anyway... 1980 was important. I thought that was a very good one when Richmond... But, yeah, we, know. we know, we know. I mean, as you see, when the coach becomes king of... Etc. And I can only imagine the kind of things that have sort of happened to you since winning the Premiership. I mean, there was no shortage of intensity today on field and you've got a team that should develop and continue to flourish. Is the big danger for Collingwood sort of what happens in between the years? I think with any team that's the big danger, but obviously after you have success it's probably... Uh scrutinised a bit more if you do go to sleep and uh, relax. So for us, the focus from day dot of pre-season was really well done on winning the Premiership last year, but that was last year. Um, get over it, look forward, and hopefully we can do it again this year. Mm. You know what, Daisy, the grand final last year, the grand final replay that you won, I think you should have won the Norm Smith. Yeah. <laughs> I really do. You had a bell to that yeah, day. Yeah. And I've got to be honest with you, the bloke that did win the Norm Smith, never heard of him. Never. Let's go back to the announcement. Never heard of the guy. Don't even know who it is. <laughs> And the winner of the North Smith Medal for 2010 is Scott Embury. <laughs> Scott Embury. Uh, been around for 60,000 in my dream team, actually. It's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> yeah, was, I mean, it was unprofessional by that guy. Um, well, that was but, Arnold Brynus, who yeah, well, you know, got premiership played for North Melbourne. I know it wasn't Arnold Brynus, it was Parmel Nidus. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? You were the only guy to get votes in both grand finals from North Smith Medal votes. You got... That was your, your effort in those both grand finals. Was, was superb and, you know, you've had a few knockers over the years but they all had to eat all their words because you're mm. a massive big game player. You didn't get the Norm Smith medal, you deserved it, but we've got another medal for you. We're going to give it to you right now, all right? Yep. It's not the Norm Smith medal, but put it on. It's just as good, man. The Dick Smith medal. You dream of that as a kid, don't you? The Kids now, Smith. well, yeah, now, yeah. It's, now it's been uh, unfurled. I think the kids growing up won't be worrying about premierships or Norm Smiths or Brownlows. It'll be the Dick Smith. Yeah, yeah you're, an life. you're an official tech expert. Oh, no it. It. <laughs> so we're going to take a break. Let the great man just ruminate on this for a while because it's a very special moment in the life and times of Dale Thomas. When we come back, more from the Super Pie and also the first tool of the week for 2011. <laughs> Dale, you're... Dale Thomas is our special guest, by the way. Excellent. Dale, um, <laughs> your contract is due to expire at the end of this season. I wonder, if I could put it in this way, what did you learn from the scrutiny that was on Gary Ablett last year and whether he would sign, wouldn't he, and the fact that GWS and all those same questions will be asked of questions of players like you this year? Well, obviously, the, the one with Gary, I can't speak on his behalf, but I think from the, the outside world looking at kind of seemed to drag on for a while. Yep. Um, but I think with him obviously going, you can't really come out halfway through a year and say, all right, boys, I've signed with someone else. So that's the interesting thing with the AFL as it is now with new clubs coming in. Um, as for personally, I think we'll just wait and see. It's a lot of money, man. It's, it's, it's a lot difficult of when, people, when players what, say that. for you? Yeah. Collingwood, hopefully. <laughs> See, and you just accept that when you say <laughs> when you say wait and see, people will just assume that you're hedging your bets and that you're open to negotiation. I think it'd be remiss of me not to be opening to to listen to what everyone has to say. Okay. It's, it is a decision, but if I if I could stay, I'd certainly be more than happy to. All right, Sorry, there you have it, Dave. What is that? That won't happen to our Zephy. Not Zephy. Zephy will jump straight over the fence. He's got yeah, some talent, hasn't he? Did you see that the other night? He's unbelievable. Did the backflip straight off the ground. That was Freak cool. You can't yeah. do that? No. Hey, we're going to take, we're gonna take <laughs> goodbye to you. Thanks for coming on and good yeah, luck for the rest of the year. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. We'll see you next week. The footy's up next. Adelaide v. Hawthorne.